Well, here we go, fourth and 16. Zio Cavanaugh will split out to the left. Smoker will be in the gun with Duckett. We got Chris Baker, the tight end. Rogers and Haygood to the right. And the Michigan will drop eight men into coverage. Smoker to throw with time. Going down the middle, and this one will be tipped and incomplete. And Michigan will escape these Lansing with a victory over the Spartans as their defense comes up big at crunch time with a minute 18 to go. Uh, now, what do we have? A flag. The flag down at the Michigan 42. Well, Smoker doesn't look happy, and he's been standing next to the officiating crew. Now let's wait for the the call here from personal foul on referee Jim Lapatina against Michigan. What? What? Personal foul, hands to the face on the defense. It's a 15 yard penalty. Well, you look at it, Jim, on the replay, and it happened. Jeremy Lasore had his hands up in Charles Rogers' face. He was shoving his face mask. And the Spartans are still alive. Well, they sure are. They're at the 35 with a first down and a minute 18 to go. this turnaround. Wow, and now Duckett's a factor again. Three wideouts for Smoker. First down at the 35, he's going to throw. He's going to heave it up. Left side for Rogers. He doubles it. He drops it. Oh, Charles. John Shaw, John Shaw was there, but Rogers had it on his fingertips and nearly pulled it in. Wow. Well, this time Rogers got a great release with a fake to the outside, getting past Marlon Jackson on his fingertips, tipped three times and couldn't bring it in. Wow. But, but the key is that a release, Frankie. You know, Michigan's been banging it with the line of scrimmage. That's what cost him on the personal foul call. And Rogers was able to get a free release that time. And the personal foul was a good call. Make no mistake about it. Now second down and 10 at the 35. Smoker back to throw. As time dumps it over the middle. Tip in the air by Rogers. The incomplete Larry Foot just missed an interception. He was a step away. Well, that's twice they hit Rogers' hands with the ball. That was a tougher catch. Yes. One over the shoulder. You know, you almost expected to wow. him to grab it for the go-ahead touchdown. Yeah, yeah. 107 to go. And the key here is Michigan has gone and backed off defensively. They're not blitzing as much as they were. They're just running a four-man rush, and they're letting the defensive backs cover. Rogers to the left. Hey, good. And Kavanaugh to the right. Michigan has all the defensive backs in there. They'll drop seven into coverage. Smoker to throw. Guns it down the middle to Haygood. He's got it. Pumps it to 20. Holds on. He's to the 18-yard line. The first down. Twenty-four, twenty, Michigan. But the Spartans are on the move. They're at the 18-yard line. And now you get into Tucker territory also. You know, they got one time out. Clock's running. 57 seconds. They'll go with a two tight end look. They're both on the left, and now they send Duckett in motion right with the two wideouts, and Smoker's going to throw. He pumps once, twice, and he's going to be sacked on the 22 by Grant Bowman again. That is a dozen sacks for the Wolverines, and Smoker calls his final timeout with 36 seconds to play. And now... With a 24-20 Michigan lead, we get a flag thrown. And I'm not sure what the flag is for. Oh, he can't do that because Michigan may have... Michigan has maybe put a player into the game after the play was over. He can't throw that flag. Well, that's not his call, the official on the sideline. It's the back judge who counts players, Jim. Well, Larry Foote is absolutely living. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got eleven guys out there. I count eleven. There are not twelve guys on the field. Well, the back judge counts the players, not the line judge. And now the referee, Jim Lapatina, is trying to sort it all out. 
Well, think about this, how much of a break this is for Michigan State. Right. They get to sit around. They have a legal participation on the previous play. They have 12 men on the field. They didn't. This is where they have to push them to the goal line. That's horrible. They didn't. Well, they didn't have that many we guys. We saw the did. ABC count. They put yellow marks on every player on the screen, Jim. We got another they, look. They there did. were 11 players. They did not have illegal purchases. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Is that 12 over here? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They counted it. Well, we might have missed one in the picture, though. Boy, I, the puzzling part is that the back judge makes those calls, and in in this case, it was the it was the side judge who made it, Michael Banks. So, I mean, if he saw it, he saw it. If it was twelve, it was twelve. The back judge, John Langan, is usually in charge of calling that. And now the officials are having another confab before the Spartans put the ball in play with 36 seconds left. They trail 24 to 20. They called timeout. They used their last timeout. Let's go down to Steve. Fellas, all of a sudden, the head linesman on the Michigan sideline got into the mix. He went to James Lampatina uh, over the ball, and that's where the conference has begun. What they're discussing, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like they're going to overrule anything, but it sure is a lengthy conversation. Yeah, I'd love to see the end zone shot of that play if we could. Twenty four to twenty. Michigan leads thirty six seconds left. The Spartans first down at the twelve. Check it, second down at the twelve. Second and three from there. Back to throw goes Smoker. Looking. Firing short right side. Duck it goes down forward. He can't get it. Bad throw. At the eleven yard line. So it's third down and four at the twelve. Uh, one of the plays that you got to watch for, and I mean, it's real simple. Uh, when you're in the red zone like this, Charles Rogers, at six foot four, you run the fade and let him try to out jump somebody because he is a great athlete with the ability to make a play. He split wide to the right. Along with Haygood, Steel Cavanaugh to the left. Duck at the only setback. Smoker to throw on third down and four. Feeling some heat fires in the end zone. Broken up on a great play by Jeremy Lasour. He dove in front of Zeal Kavanaugh on the post route and got a hand in to knock it down. And it's fourth down and four with 27 seconds left from the Michigan 12-yard line. And, Jim, I'll tell you what, if the Wolverines win this ball game, it's, it's going to be an absolute miracle because they have had to overcome everything in this one. Yeah. And, I, and, again, I'm surprised you haven't gone to Rodgers. But, well, in a, way, they, in a way, they have. Yeah, Michigan's doubling them up. And, and now you're fourth down, though, and you you got no timeouts left. But, oh, you're in a shotgun, so Duckett's out of the game again. Now Duckett's split out wide. But he's not, you know, in the back. Right. Fourth and four. Smoker to throw. Firing over the middle. It's caught by Duckett. He's got it down to the four-yard line. That'll be a first down. It'll stop the clock while they move the chains. 23 seconds left. State doesn't have any timeouts. They need a touchdown. Do they dare run it right here with Duckett? Nope, they're going to spike it and stop the clock with 17 seconds to play. 24-20 Michigan. Well, that time Duckett, one of five receivers, ran a little drag route across the middle of the field underneath the linebackers, and Duckett was able to get the first down as Smoker was able to hit him with the football. Michigan, again, covering him with a linebacker. They wanted to keep everybody out of the end zone. They did that. But now here's the here's the question. Do you gamble? And Do you run gamble the ball? and run the ball with no timeouts left and 17 seconds on the clock? Well, Michigan is going to call a timeout here right. with 17 seconds left. Wow, what a finish. Down nine feet away from a go-ahead touchdown with 17 seconds to go. No timeouts for Michigan State. And, and the play that has been their play, running-wise, okay, has been 
a wide handoff or pimp sweep to T.J. Duckett. They've made a lot of yardage with that today. Would they gamble on a running play and try to get it in with Duckett, or do you throw it and try to get three plays instead of one or two? Well, Jim, if they run it and he doesn't make it, it's oh. a ball game. Yep, and it's second-guessing everywhere. They'll uh, never get lined up for another play if they run right. it and he doesn't get in. And he doesn't get out of bounds. Uh, it doesn't get any more amazing. exciting than this at the end of a ball game. Amazing finish. I mean, Michigan you know, this game was Michigan. over at one yeah, point. Michigan had the game won, won, what, two, three minutes ago? Yep. Now, Jim, as I count them up on that too many men on the field, I still show the final 11, but I still haven't had a good look at it on on their replay. We'll just have to find out later. Very human. Well, this is a running we'll formation. Yep, here they go. Oh, well, no, he's in a shotgun. Oh, okay, he is. He's in a shotgun. And Smoker's going to roll to his right. He can run. Puts after him. He missed him. Smoker down to the one. He's to the one. The clock is running. Seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Smoker spikes the ball, and the clock had stopped. The clock had stopped at one. They stopped the clock, Jim. They stopped the clock when they shouldn't have. Jim, that clock should have run out. Uh, That's this, unbelievable. Is this, is this home cooking or what? Larry Bielat. The ex-coach at MSU and the color wow. commentator from radio just put his hands up with that sheepish grip. Here comes that's Duck. unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, that's criminal. Watch out, Haygood. Watch out. Okay, they're over there. Okay, in the shotgun, Smoker from the two. He's going to score. Oh, look at Larry Stevens. Stevens being held. The pass into the end zone. Coach Rick has got that duck. Unbelievable. Stevens. from the Michigan Wolverines. The clock should have run out when Smoker spiked the ball. He had no time left. They stopped the clock with a second to go before he threw it. Larry Stevens was nearly undressed on the pass rush on the final play. And Smoker heaved it up into the end zone where Duckett caught it for the game-winning touchdown. Unbelievable. Michigan State wins. It'll go in the books as a Spartan victory. And it, it's a shame that such a great football game will be finished with what will be some bitter feelings on the side of the maize and blue. I've done Michigan football for 21 years. And I can tell you, my friends, I've never, ever, ever seen a team robbed in a football game like this one was today. But the Spartans get the victory, 26-24. There have been a lot of controversial ones in this series. Last year in Ann Arbor, there was a controversial fumble by Duckett. In the past, there was a controversial two-point conversion try by Michigan. And this one, unreal.